Hi friends, I'm Mr. Bulla and today I'm gonna talk about one of the most talented South Korean actors. His film career started when I was one year old and it ended when I was 10 years old and I found out about him six years after his retirement and I love him in each one of Phoebe's films. Today I'm gonna talk about Ubin. Ubin is a Cessius as less Korean vampire, mostly known for his acting in some of the most popular and high dosing Korean movies like Man from Nowhere, Mother and Takeshi Brothers. He is one of the finest actors from Korea and he has done only 5 films in his career but all of them are a masterpiece in their own right. Woo Bin was born and raised in Joseon, country in Gangwon province, South Korea. He was a fifth and a youngest child. His father used to work in a mine factory and his mother used to work as a farmer. He used to live in an area where there were a lot of mountains and rivers and he spent most of his childhood playing in those mountains and rivers. When he was a kid, he was really shy, insecure, quiet and he followed that character trait throughout his teenagehood. While he was not talkative or outgoing, he was good at sports. He started taking Taekwondo lessons, which is basically a Korean martial art, and he was really good at it, and now he holds a black belt in it. When he was young, he had a big interest in car racing and motorcycling, so he wanted to become a car mechanic. So Wubin graduated from a mechanical high school, where he studied car repairing and mechanics. But Destiny has something else planned. In November 1995, a cable television station was looking to hire a new actors and Ubin applied for it and he was accepted in last semester of his high school. So he started taking acting lessons at station's headquarter and he appeared in several dramas during that time and in just one month, Ubin has signed an acting contract with a big agency and did a several dramas after that. And he gained a lot of popularity by the drama known as Atom of Heart. And he finally made his debut in 2002. And he retired from acting in 2010. He did only 5 films in his career. But all of them are a masterpiece in their own right. And today I'm gonna talk about 5 pieces of art that who been created in his 10 years career as an actor. At number 5, we have My Brother. My Brother is a really good heartfelt family drama. It tells a beautiful story of two brothers and their single mother. Starring some of the most popular actors from South Korea, Shihan Chun, Woo Bin, Lee Bi Yoon, Kim Hoo Soot as a mother. It's a story of two brothers and her single mother. And her mother loving one son more than the other son. And other son just hating his own brother because his mother loves him more. But he still finds a way to be happy because he's cool. It's a story of two brothers. One is good, other is bad. One is weak, other is strong. One is good at studying, other is good at fighting. One is good at writing poems. Other is really good at reading them in a funniest way possible. And this movie is a really funny, sad, heartfelt family drama. With Ubin playing one of the coolest roles of a teenager. Who is just an asshole to his brother because his mother loves him more. Even though he was a judge in this movie, we understand him and we love him. And his role was just a pure badass. In this movie, you will see Ubin getting into real fight. You will probably know a stream at his entry scene where he was introduced as an ass kicking badass fearless teenager. If you want to see Ubi in a badass role after Man from Nowhere, you shouldn't miss out this one because his role was really badassly and funnily written. And he's also seen awesome dialogue like this one. <laughs> <laughs> this movie kind of starts as a love triangle between two brothers and one girl and obviously Ubin gonna get the girl because he's a sexiest badass teenager alive. <laughs> then it kind of starts as a family drama and this movie is a really good family drama. It's sad, 
is any sad but it's also kind of uplifting and it's a really good feel good movie you should probably watch this movie it's really good act number 4 we have dance and thoughts dance and thoughts is a really good black comedy which tells the story of bunch of contact killers who are really good at a job and each character has their own story in this movie and each character has their own swag in this movie it was one of the highest grossing film of south korea that year you can see some of the new upcoming talents who became some of the biggest legends from south korea and speaking of legends shian chun actor who did my brother with boobin is also in this movie in this movie he's not weak and sad like in my brother in this movie he plays a fearless contact killer who's really good at running Jun Ji Yoon It was really nice to see a plain man doing a badass role in its teenagehood and he's also really charming in this movie and badass of them all Shin Hyo Jun as a group leader when you look at him and when you see his entire look it feels like some badass japanese anime character come to life and i guess that was Trey's role and he stole that role really well that i have to give him a extra point for the loot because he feels like some badass japanese manga character and each character has a unique loot in this movie and that loot just basically justifies their character we look at each actor and their character for a few minutes you get a glimpse of how that character is going to be in this movie we look at ubin you know he's going to be the most innocent member of that gang when you look at chian jun you know he's going to be the most excited member of that gang when you look at jun ji yoon you know he's going to be the silent killer in this movie and when you look at the leader you know he's going to be the smartest member of that gang and you know he's going to be the most badass member of that gang that just basically tells you how beautifully this movie is casted ubin plays a narrator in this movie he plays a younger brother of the group leader and he's also really weird and also really funny in this movie it was his debut film and considering the fact that it was one of the highest grossing film of south korea that year it was a really good debut for him this movie is about a bunch of contact killers it's really unique it was in most of the contact killer movies film made a diet introduce they contact killer in their movies and we never get to learn about their lives and what they do in their real life and what's their day to day routine like but in this movie we learn about their lives and what's their day to day routine is like because each character has their own story in this movie which helps this movie a lot to easily connect with audience in most of the contact killer movies they show a big gun shootout scene or big action scene to make their character look awesome or a pure badass But in this movie, it consists of none of that shit. It doesn't have any big shootout scene or big action scene. It only has a very well written badass characters, and that's it. Because when you show a big action scene or big shootout scene, that only makes your character easily forgettable. And I don't always want to say that that character is awesome because he's good at fighting and he's good at shooting. I don't always want to say that. Sometimes I just want to call someone a badass because he can do a simple things, but does things hard, really courageous for anyone to do, and you show that in a most courageous way possible. And that's the kind of guy that I told call him a badass. And that's the kind of guy that's gonna stay with me when this movie is gonna end. And when you look at the climax scene of this movie, it doesn't have any fight or any big shootout scene, but it's still the most badass scene out there. You can do a simple thing like the lead character comforting your top, and you can show that in the most courageous way possible. And that's it. That's my badass character. And not having a lot of action scene or shootout scene helped this movie a lot because. professional killers do their job without making any sound so that just helped this movie a lot to stand out about them uh, as a, one of the best taunted killer movie out there and it does have some few badass action scene and few shootout scene it doesn't have any of that i'm not saying that it does have really cool action scenes and they are really good after john who started making big hollywood movies like Mission Impossible and CGI to all the film industry in 2000 this type of genre about contract killer movies kind of got lost in 90s 
and south twitter brought back the leader taste of that tea bag for two dozen audience and we really enjoyed it at number two we have mother this movie probably has the best intro scene out there this movie start with a hunting breathtaking dance of a mother she's trying she's happy and when you say that thing you know what you're stepping into you know you're watching a fucking bonjino film because that dance is something really special and this movie ending this movie ending is really dark but it still has its warmness to it because after seeing such a dark ending you don't feel bad you kind of feel good that's just the magic of bonjino and mother is a masterpiece it's a cult film it is treated as one of the best thrillers from south korea and there are a lot of reasons why first it's a bonjino film this man has won four oscar last year for his recent film known as parasite and he did not just won those award in just foreign film category no he won those award in hollywood category in english category he won their best film and their best screenplay award and it is just not a normal thing for anyone to do it he was the first one to do it and bonjino is one of the best director from south korea and they just don't give oscar to just anyone he's one of the finest director out there and if you know bonjino bonjino just doesn't make movies he makes masterpieces second reason it has who been when you try to think about it This movie probably makes one of the worst casting decision out there because who been so handsome he's so dreamy he comes in every woman's dream and also mine sometimes he's a sexiest man alive so it is just hard to imagine him playing dumb retard in this movie but who been proves everyone wrong with his acting talent and his character work during the entire film i never thought i was looking at a sexiest man alive I was just looking at a dumb retard and when I watched Mother for the first time I watched it after seeing him playing one of the most badass role out there in Man from Nowhere and when I watched Mother for the first time it was just hard for me to recognize him because he had a cooler character in Man from Nowhere he was so bulky and he was showing his abs it was just really beautiful and when I watched Mother for the first time I thought he was a bulky guy the other side character because other side character in this movie had a cooler character i thought that was woven so I had to check on rudal again to make sure who was woven in that film and then i found woven is a retarded kid i was like what that just basically tells you how great of a character what he has done in this movie it was just hard for me to recognize him when i watched mother for the first time and he used one of his career best performance in this movie if you are a woven fan you should probably watch this movie and third reason to see the legendary performance of a legendary actress known as Kim Hee Ja she was praised with a lot of odd for this film and it was well deserved i remember in an interview for passed where bon joon ho was asked about the actress who portrayed the mother in that film and he said nobody can portray that role except her if she refuses playing that role how will i mean just screwed and if she says no to that film i will not done it I wouldn't have made murder if she says no to that film. That just basically tells you how great of an actress she is, and her performance of a innocent, crazy, fearless mother has to be one of the best portrayals of a mother out there. When you talk about mother's love for her child, you talk about it in a good way, and in lot of movies they show that in a good way. And when you hear a sentence like, "Doesn't matter what kind of a criminal her child becomes, in her eyes he'll be always innocent." and in lot of movies they show that in a dude way but that sentence has its darkness to it and bonjuno captures that darkness in this movie is it only me or bonjuno was trying to give tribute to his best work in this movie because the intrusion scene in this movie looks exactly like the intrusion scene from maze of murder there is a retarded with uh, there is one bulky policeman bullying him There is our lead intruder who looks exactly like Sanjeno from Maze of Mother, and there is our main officer who looks exactly like the main officer of Maze of Mother. Sometimes I do feel like Mother is a extended version of Maze of Mother, and how Bonjino would have done it if the retarded kid in Maze of Mother was a killer. And fourth reason, 
this movie teaches us the most important lesson of our life that you don't fucking tall retarded people retarded they might hit you with the fucking stone to prove that they are retarded i learned that in a hard way i wish i watch mother as a kid then i would have learned that lesson when i was a kid i told one kid a retard and hit me with a fucking stone right in the head right here and blood was coming from my head and that day i learned the most important lesson about life that you don't fucking call retarded people retarded they might hit you with a fucking stone to prove that they are retarded right there at that gate can you see that gate or just right there and i was telling a kid a retard kid right here a retard and he got really offended and hit me with a fucking stone right there the blood was coming from my head and i fell down it was a really sad thing that's how that's how i got that star can you see it it's right here i really enjoyed making this video because i had a chance to rewatch mother for the second time it was the first time i watched mother it was really confusing though because there was no sign of ubin in that film and i thought i was watching peta let me tell you a story of peta and my brother because when i was a kid my brother used to watch lot of korean movies and i used to make fun of him for watching those movies with subtitles and i used to make fun of their language and how all the actors looked the same and i used to do that a lot and he found out the best way to take revenge on me without any physical violence or mental violence but it does have some mental violence to it what he did was he told me the soulful hunting revenge story of peta and after hearing that hunting story i was so interested i asked my brother what was the movie name and he did not fucking told me that movie name for years i asked him what was the movie name and he did not fucking told me that movie name for almost 7 years i asked him what was the movie name and he did not fucking told me that movie name for almost 7 years i struggled knowing the awesome story of a movie but not knowing the name and last year i found out it was peta if you want to take revenge on someone it's the best way to take revenge on someone to tell them the story of a awesome film and do not tell them the fucking name of that film it's the best way to take revenge on someone so when i watch mother for the first time it was really confusing though because i thought i was watching peta and there was no sign of ubin in that film and when i watch mother for the first time i thought i was watching peta i thought now she is going to take revenge on that bulky army man by pretending to be his mother and she is going to kill herself you know now she is going to take revenge on him but i had a different story in my mind and i was watching a different movie and when i watch mother for the second time i really enjoyed it because i know what i was seeing and really enjoyed it At number two, we have Takeshi Brothers. You know, in South Korea, population is really less, so there is a law. Doesn't matter if you're an actor, doesn't matter if you're a politician, doesn't matter if you're a model. You have to compulsory do military service to your country. And actors like Don Yu, Yoo Bin, Lee Min Ho, Son Joon Ki, they all have done it. They all had given military service to their country. and after this movie who win join army for 2 years and then he returned to acting to act in his next film known as mother and takeji brothers from a director of shiri takeji brothers is one of the best war film out there its starting war scene easily captured the soul of war it can be compared with the starting war scene of seven pride rain and some might even argue that it's even better This movie tells the story of two brothers who went to war for their country in 1950. So like I told you previously in South Korea population is really less. So in old time if war happens they used to take every one person from every family of South Korea without their consent basically. So in this movie both brothers those two war for their country without their consent. 
and their main goal is basically to survive this war because there is no man to look after their family. So this movie is a really good war film which talks about war and how it changes people, how it changes us mentally as well as physically, how it changes an innocent sweet happy man to a violent, torturous, crazy killer. And it's asked simple questions like is it worth fighting this war? Is it worth fighting for your country? And this movie is probably one of the best war film out there and it has some of the best war action scene out there. And in this movie Ubin plays the younger brother and I know a lot of people don't argue that murder should be at number 2 because it's the best thriller out there. But I think this list is our Ubin performance in each of his films so that's why this movie is at number 2 because he gives one of his career's best performance in this movie. And this movie is probably one of the best war film out there. It gives some of the best war action scene out there. This movie is a really good sad heartfelt family drama and it tells a beautiful story of two brothers who went to war for their country and how their lives they totally torn apart by this war and I think it's gonna make you try at the end. When it was released it was one of the highest grossing Korean movie of all time. It brought all the boss of it to at that time and it made over 76 million in 2006 or 7 and it had a only budget of 12 million back then and this movie is considered as 75th highest grossing movie all around the world and it is their 13th highest grossing movie of all time at number one we have man from nowhere obviously it's going to be the number one movie on this list Considered as one of the best action film on this planet, this movie tells a twisted story of one man who comes out of nowhere to save one girl from a drug mafia. It is considered as one of the best action film on this planet. It has some of the best action scenes on this planet and it has one of the best action hero on this planet. This movie gives some of the best action out there. I'm telling you, this movie is one of the action film. You have to see it before you die. It is like South Korea's Die Hard. That's it. <laughs> this movie gives one of the best thriller experience out there. It's really good. It's really dark. It's really violent. And as we explore this world of drug mafia, it gets really good. And the transformation Ubin has done for this movie. From mother's young boy to the sexiest man alive. Oh my god. Like I told you previously, it was just hard for me to recognize him in mother. Because he looked so awesome in this movie. Let's just look at his abs. This movie is considered as one of the best action thriller from South Korea. And there are a lot of reasons why. First reason. It has a sexiest man alive showing his abs and they are just beautiful. And sexiest man alive is also doing most of his turns in this movie. And it also tells a beautiful story of one girl and her neighbor. And also gives some of the best action scenes on this planet. They are just beautifully shorted. And this is one of those movies which inspired a lot of action that we have seen all this decade. And even if you don't speak Korean language, you will always remember what Azushi means after watching this movie. You know, lot of actors in the process of maintaining their career, they totally destroy their life, they totally destroy their family. They do drugs, alcohol, lot of narcotics because their profession is killing them. and. If you don't do movies for just one year, your fans and your haters just get on it. They might say things like maybe he did not get any roles, maybe he cannot do it anymore, maybe he just doesn't have it anymore, maybe it's time for him to retire. And your fans watch your movie every year and sometimes it's just fucking hard to maintain it sometimes. And you are making more money than you could ever imagine. Now you have all the money in the world but you don't have enough time to spend it with your family. And now you have become a worker of a job which was your passion not your life. 
and what's the point of having so much money that you don't have enough time to spend it on yourself or your family that's the thing which i love about ubin he says from his acting career that when you become an actor you don't always have to maintain it just do it what you want to do and in his life did everything he did lot of movies lot of tv dramas and gained a lot of popularity from the movies and tv dramas and then after doing lot of movies he joined army like one of the best thing we could do as a civilian of south korea and then he ended his career very early because he wanted to live a happy life with his family and when you try to think about it he's living a best happy life that everyone wants to live he retired from acting after doing this masterpiece so no one can fucking say that that he did not get any roles after doing this masterpiece and he did only five films in his career but all of them are a masterpiece in their own right that's his legacy so that's what i'm saying that's his legacy i know i'm also like his other fans who misses him a lot and want to see him in more movies but i'm also happy for him because he's living a cheerful happy life that he always wanted to live sometimes you just have to be selfish to live a happy life and he's basically doing that i remember a story where ubin asked his mother that i want to become actor and his mother said why then he said because i'm really good looking then his mother said so all the other kids in our town are also good looking so they should also become a actor but he did not listen to his mother and he basically pursued it and he became one of the finest actor from south korea